there's we haven't coordinated. We didn't talk about what we, we were each going to do. But Rob's communion is goes exactly in line with what I was going to talk about today. So awesome. to the point where he started talking, and I'm like, he's going to use my scripture. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he didn't. Um, but I, you know, Brenda and I were tasked with hosting this morning, and I asked Brenda if she wanted to do anything. And, she was like, no, it's okay. You can do it. <laughs> but she was very supportive this morning. Very supportive. When I was going over the sermon in my bedroom, she came in with a breakfast sandwich. Oh, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, that's not, that doesn't usually, <clears throat> usually happen. And I'm like, whoa. Uh, and she's like, do you, you want a breakfast sandwich? It's already made. And I'm like, wow, okay, that's great. And then we're getting ready to leave. And She's like, I'll take the car keys, I'll drive. And I'm like, oh, you, you want to drive? Okay, give her the car keys. Mm -hmm. And then we stop for gas, and I open the door, because I always pump the gas, and Brenda's like, I got it, I'll get the gas. And at that point, I started getting a little insecure. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, she, she's out there pumping the gas, and I'm just in there, like, kind of fidgeting, like, wait, am I not needed anymore? <laughs> um, but I wanted to uh, do this study with you guys that I did a, a number of years ago, and it really affected me and changed the way I pray and interact with God. And it all happened. I was reading through the Bible, and I came to that scripture in 1 Samuel where, you know, Saul was the king, but then he, God chose David. And it, it says in the scripture that he chose David because David was a man after his own heart. And in Acts, Paul says the same thing. He's going through kind of the history of, of the Bible, and he talks about how David was chosen because he was a man after God's own heart. And I, and I read that, and I thought, what is that? Like, what does that mean? What are the qualities? Because I want to be, as a Christian, I think we all want to be a person like after God's own heart. And so I decided to go, luckily with David, we have like, I think it's 73 songs are written by David. Mm. And so we have all these very personal writings of David to God that you can look through and study and, and try to like see what was David's heart? How did David's mind work? How did David live? And it, to me, it was really uh, enlightening and um Amazing to do this. I'm going to take off my glasses so I can see. Um, turn to Psalm 18. Actually, Psalm 23 first. This is written by David. And you can think about where Rob's communion was on, but look at how David wrote. He wrote, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isn't that so personal? Uh, point one of a man that or a woman with a... a that lives a life after God's own heart is having a personal relationship with God. And that's what Rob was talking about in his communion. And I, I remember reading this, and all through the Psalms, you see this, David makes it personal. And I remember thinking, I don't really pray like that. I pray, you know, God, kind of like not my God. You know, and that's what David's doing here. Look over at Psalm 18, a little further back. Psalm 
Psalm 18, if you go through the whole thing, I, I circled all the my's and me's, but it starts out, verse one, and, one through three, I love you, O Lord, my strength. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. And if you look at the, you know, further on, Psalm 18 is pretty long, but I mean, I don't even know if you can see, I circled all the me's and my's in here. There's a lot of circles. I haven't counted them up. But the whole psalm is very personal. And you get that sense from David all the time that this isn't like the something we're all doing with the temple and, and everything. It's, it's like this is my personal relationship with God. And I was really convicted by that. I was like, I want this kind of close personal relationship with God. I want to pray more like this. And it really affected me. And you can see it also in real life as a real life example, David and Goliath. You know, everyone was scared of Goliath.